Good morning, everyone. We're going to talk some more about the fixed cross. It started out as a navigational tool. The four points are the four brightest stars that opposed each other in the night sky. It was the navigators who were circumventing the globe. straighten out for me. Um, this would be Aldebaran in Taurus. He's the ox. And he's the follower of the Pleiades from Arabic. Pleiades uh, meaning playground of the gods. But in Egyptian, the Pleiades is the flock. Biblically, the flock came out of Egypt into Aries. Does that make sense to any of you guys? They came out of Egypt into Aries. And ironically enough, they did it by changing the zodiac. Um, when you count Aries as the first and count it off the 30 degrees, uh, the Pleiades would have fell on that line and coming into Aries. But uh, Taurus, the bull, the Tau, and that this is the flock. This is why this group here, uh, the three on the cross, uh, would be in paradise with Jesus that day. It's because they'll be on the good side of the zodiac in the light. We're coming into the light. Uh, the next one is the lion. And it's the heart of the lion, Regulus. This is at the foot of the cross. We have a lion at the foot of the cross. Um, the solar eclipse will happen here at the heart of the lion. One of them, there are a couple coming that are extremely important. Uh, I'll be talking about that in... Uh, on Wayne's, uh, Wayne Steiger's channel. Uh, so I'm going to save that for there. The Heart of the Scorpion. They don't want to let me zoom in on it because it's grabbing some satellite. Um, Heart of the Scorpion, that is Antares. Uh, originally the heart of the eagle. Uh, my favorite, Fomalhaut, which is the mouth of the fish. Thalem, in Arabic, trans translates to uh, educator. He speaks for the fish. We're the fish people, right? We're all fish from the age of Pisces. Uh, fish goes all the way from Pisces through Aquarius into Capricorn, half goat, half fish. Um, he speaks for the fish. And that's the four uh, fixed points on the cross. Uh, Omaha, Thalem, uh, is the third brightest star in the heavens. All four of them are. They are the four brightest stars of the heaven. But when you talk about uh, the cross, the fixed cross, uh, I've already explained to you that it was the Jews who demanded that uh, the Romans crucify him, right? Nail him to the cross. That's fixing the zodiac. And that was because of this star right here. Balaam, the great instructor, the educator. Uh, we've also talked about, um, and it's it stands alone. It, it's not grouped with other stars. They've even tried to move it out of Aquarius. Uh, but I'm sticking with the ancient work, uh, including Ptolemy's work, uh, and I stay away from... Uh, a lot of what they've done. If it doesn't jive with the alchemy to me, then it's not correct. And uh, so I get what they were doing when they 
put the man on the cross. Uh, but it's a very, very old, old, ancient story. Uh, the heart of the lion is what we'll be dealing with now and with uh, Thalem over here. Both of them are in play. We had the lunar eclipse um, six months ago in Aquarius. And, and we have the solar eclipse. This is two years in a row uh, in Leo. Uh, last year, these two events happened uh, in the southern hemisphere. Now, they're happening in the northern hemisphere here in America. And uh, last year, we had, uh, of course, Jupiter was still in Virgo, and Saturn was still in Scorpio. Jupiter was still in Earth, and Saturn still in water. Neither one of them liked being in those houses. Uh, time for heads to roll, and the gurus in India uh, were running for their lives, assassination attempts last year. Now Saturn, the political ruler, is retrograde. So we're liable to see uh, the leaders and the lion. That's fire. Its color is yellow. It's the yellow lion. All right, we've talked about this. It also represents the Orient. So uh, get ready for that one. Uh, Mars is debilitated right now in water with the sun. Don't pretty much, this is the house of the moon. They're both in the house of the moon right now. Coming up before this eclipse and in four days, Mercury goes stationary, ready to go retrograde. So nothing's getting done right now. Action is debilitated. Everybody feels fatigued. Uh, you can't get up and go. There's no motion. Uh, this is uh, really a great time for peace, right? Peace and serenity because uh, the planet of war uh, is in water and the sun as well. And Mars is even debilitated twice because it's in within 10 degrees of the sun. So uh, I'm shocked I get anything done at all right now. But I'm Earth. I don't have a lot in water but Jupiter. So... Uh, it doesn't affect me as much. Uh, when this eclipse happened, those of you who will be affected most are the four fixed signs. Uh, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, and Scorpio. And this is going to change everything for you more than it will anybody else. For some for the good, and some for the bad. But remember, the lion is at the foot of the cross, and he's on fire, right? He's the yellow lion on fire. Um, the lion w is the sigil for Babylon, for confusion, right? So to me, in my perspective, this is a good thing. <coughs> it's part of the unveiling or the unmasking. Excuse me, I might need to pause this for a second. All right, um, the unveiling or the unmasking, uh, that word is being used a lot in the news since Trump came into office. And every time I hear it with alchemy ears, I hear apocalypse, revelation, unveiling, not doomsday. But bid you mind that when this thing goes down, I've done told you, some of us are going to wake up into everlasting joy. And others are going to be uh, the walking dead, right? Zombies everywhere. They're not going to know what's going on. Not Talk about still being in Babylon. The confusion is just going to surmount. Um, how many of you have woke friends or family up too soon and they crashed and burned because they couldn't handle the truth? 
when you explain to them that their Bible is an astrology book when they've been forbidden to look at it or when you tell them you thought you were a Leo but you're a Cancer uh, that really knocks their shoes off um, so you can imagine what it's going to be like this is a marker for the next seven years uh, split in half three and a half years uh, the 2020 event on the winter solstice of the Saturn Jupiter meeting in Capricorn with Pluto uh, marks the three and a half year point from two eclipses that are coming up and I'll talk about that on Wayne's show our channel I wanted to talk about getting fixed in your mind that all of this started out um, check out where the moon is isn't that beautiful with these four stars the four fixed points of the heaven that uh, the Phoenicians and many others before them uh, King Yuba uh, would uh, use them to navigate the heavens so they could get where they were going and that's what it's really all about it's navigation um, mapping the heavens these are fixed points everything else can change and whirl around but these fixed points remain uh, Regulus the heart of the lion is fire fixed fire uh, the heart of the scorpion and Taurus is fixed water Thalem, Fomahalt, Aquarius is fixed air. And Aldebaran, the follower of the Pleiades, is fixed earth. They don't move. They're nailed to the cross. And then, of course, nailed to the foot of the cross, the lion. He's not mentioned other than John and Mary, masculine, feminine, are at the foot of the cross. And indeed, they are. 